In activity 2.03, I'm going to demonstrate creating table relationships and enforcing referential integrity. Because this is a long talk, I'm going to go ahead and just do it for those who are advanced users, and then I'll come back and explain it. That way the advanced users can get uh, done with reviewing it, and people that need more help can stick around for more explanation. So I have in, uh, 2A Instructors courses open. I've got the Instructors table and the Schedule table. And I want to create a linkage. If I look at Instructors, I notice that I have lots of different instructors, but there's no course information in here. Uh, this tells where their office is, where their department is, but not where th what courses they're teaching. If I open Schedule, um, I see lots of courses, but I don't see any instructor information. What I do see is an instructor ID. So whoever designed these two tables was uh, looking ahead to say, I need an instructor ID so that I can relate courses back to the instructors table and be able to display the rank and the name, etc., along with the courses that just they teach. But until we create a linkage between these two tables, there is no linkage. So now I'm going to close both of these tables and I'm going to go to the database tools tab. I'm going to click on relationships. It shows me the two tables that are in the database and I'm going to point at instructor ID and click and drop on instructor ID in the schedule table there. Notice it says table 2A instructors instructor ID related to table 2A schedule on instructor ID. I'm going to click enforce referential integrity. I'm going to create and we get this relationship line and this is a one to many relationship that's the infinity symbol and what this says is that one instructor can have many classes and many classes on the schedule can relate back to just one instructor now um, for the for those of you who need a little more assistance let me let me back up let me delete this by clicking on the line and hitting delete I'm going to remove that now let's just go look at the instructors table and let's go to design view and notice that the only things if I am using the instructors table the only things I can see are going to be fields that are listed here and you don't see any course information here so if I were to go back to the datasheet view and I'm going to shrink I'm going to shrink the navigation pane down um, the reason we haven't included the instructors course information into the instructors table is because if let's say Deborah Fresh taught 10 sections then we'd have 10 lines or 10 rows 10 records in this database that repeated all of Deborah Fresh's uh, information her rank her name her office phone her college email 10 times over and we'd have lots of duplicated information and if uh, as in class I gave you the example what if Deborah Fresh said oh you got my phone number wrong then we'd have to change Deborah Fresh's phone number 10 times over. And so relational databases and the relational data model were, were created in such a way as to minimize the duplication of information. And so the way that we handle that is we create more than one table. We design so that we have instructor information in one place and the unique course information in yet another place. And then we link the two based on the instructor's ID. So by opening schedule in design view, the only information that's stored in the schedule table, as you can see, are these fields here. And the only way to correlate any 
record or row in the schedule table back to the instructor table is to leave a breadcrumb of information and that breadcrumb of information is the instructor ID so yes we do duplicate instructor ID information from the instructors table in the schedule table so that is duplicated information but it's the only way that we have to link the information together and that's why this is called a relational database because we relate the tables based on a specific piece of information that we've designed into it to minimize duplication of information.